to show you our DC position servo trainer kit analog and digital order code is 52054. So, this is the trainer kit, this is master dial potentiometer and this is slave dial potentiometer. In this side uh, DC servo motor is um, inbuilt. This is the master angular position display meter panel meter and this is slave angular position display panel meter. This is the mimic diagram given on the trainer kit. This is main switch to turn on or off the kit. This is user manual and patch cost these all are included in this kit. Our first experiment is to study DC motor angular position servo system. So, first we will connect A1 and A2. And after that we will connect input and output. Now I am turning on the kit, set this master dial potentiometer at any degree and we will see that this slave dial potentiometer will vary in respect to this master's dial. So, we cannot change the we cannot change it from here to change it we need to change this from here like this. So, also you can note here the master angular position display and so the slave angular position display you can note here you can see that they are almost same. Like this. So, set this master dial potentiometer at different angle and note down the slave dial potentiometer readings in this table that is given here. Ok, so I have turn, turn, turn off the kit. Now, I am setting this master dial at 0 degree and my slave dial is at 360 degree. So, we will turn on the kit and we will see what happens. So, you can see that the slave dial has also come to the 0 degree. So, our next experiment is the measurement of dead zone. So, first for this connect A1, A2 and input and output. I am turning on the kit. Now, set this master dial potentiometer at certain angle from 0 to 360 degree, choose any angle between this. So, I am taking this. Now, remove this terminal connection and slowly increase, slowly change this. We can see this is also increasing. And as we can see that this slave angular position display has been st has stopped increasing like this. So, this is the dead zone measure the maximum distance in degrees for which the slave dial does not respond at all. Our next experiment is to study the different characteristics of servo system that is hunting, repeatability and noise free. So, for first hunting we will connect A1 and A2 and input and output terminals. Now, switch on the trainer kit, slave dial is following the master dial. Now, like this you can see slave dial is following the master dial. Now, pull out the patch cord which is connected between A1 and A2. We can see that slave and 
you can see that this has become unsteady. Now again connect A1 and A2. We can see that the response of slave dial becomes a little sluggish. Our next, we will next uh, see the repeatability characteristics of the servo system. So, connect the patch cords between A1 and A2 and connect a patch cord between input and output terminals like this. Now, switch on the main supply, set the master and slave dial at 180 degree. Now, vary the master dial from 180 degree like this. Now, Again set the master dial at 180 degree and we can see the slave dial is co co coinciding with 180 degree like this. Our next experiment is to observe the other characteristics of servo system that is fast response, high accuracy, high sensitivity, linearity and resolution. So, connect the connection like this, connect a patch cord between A1 and A2 and connect a patch cord between input and output terminal. Now, this is our input section and this is output section. Now, turn on the kit and by rotating the master dial, we can observe all the above characteristics of servo system. We can see that the change in position of the pointer should be instantaneous with respect of the change in input. In other words, we can see that if there is any change, any slight change in input, instantly result in the output is also changing accordingly. Now, we also can see that the deflection of master and slave dial is almost ac accurate. You can see here. And also we can see that the output is linearly dependent on the input. Like this you can vary the rest of the characteristics of the servo system.